In this TA Tech Tip, I'm going to show you how to set up and analyze some temperature calibration data for a Discovery TGA. To initially set up a temperature calibration point for your Discovery TGA, make sure that you select the calibration menu. In this menu, you'll see the, the Curie Point table or the temperature table. Uh, there are calibrations that exist here, but if we're going to create a new temperature calibration, select the New button. In here, you will be selecting the type of material that you will be using, in this case, alumel. You need to make sure that you select the correct pan number and the correct pan type from this drop-down menu. The program should, by default, set up according to the type of material that you have, whether it be alumel or nickel or nickel cobalt. When you choose the correct material and you're ready to start this experiment, you can either send it to the running queue and run automatically, send it to the running queue and wait for uh, user uh, selection, or you can send it to the design view. In this case, we'll throw it into the running queue. The message here will direct you to the running queue. Once it's in the running queue, you can run this experiment. After the data is collected, your data file should be open in the results pane. If it's not, then make sure to open up the correct data file. In this case, we will open up Alumel. The data file will open. You should see your graph. When you do have the graph there, you can select the data file in the file manager here, click on instrument, and this calibrate button should be active. If you click on it, you can then select temperature. This should automatically go through the calibration procedure. Uh, it, when you're ready to apply this to your, your instrument, you can hit Save and Apply. You can also save the results and apply them later. If you want to see the information that exists th for this particular calibration set, you can say Show, Edit Show Details, you can say Go To, and it will show you how the software actually analyzes that data set. If you'd like to incorporate two temperature or multiple temperatures in your temperature table, you'll have to make sure to open them both up at the same time. So in this case, we'll open up a nickel cobalt alloy. You can see we have two data sets in our file manager list. Um, make sure that you highlight both by selecting, selecting them both using the control button. Once you select both items, Again, the Calibrate button will become active. You can say Temperature Calibration. And you can see here that you're adding multiple items to this list. Here again, you can show how each of them are analyzed. And when you find that these are correct, make sure to hit the Save and Apply button. And the information will be sent over to this calibration data set. And it will include another uh, item in your list here. So once you're completed with this, you're instrument is temperature calibrated and ready to run experiments.